Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over the VEX 2021-2022 game, The Tipping Point. So I stayed up a while last night trying to see what the game was and they released it around 10.30 I think uh, central time. So yeah, so this game has a lot of great features and I want to be sharing this with you guys. So some quick disclaimers is that I'm not affiliated with VEX, neither do I own any of the images in this video. So I'll leave credits to all the information and game manuals in the description below so make sure to go check that out and finally i have some quick announcements from my student-led organization panda learning so just a quick one minute you know intro to that so yeah and then we'll jump right in here is a quick word from our partners today panda learning is an educational season-based program for students in grades 4 through 12. We have amazing six-day introductory STEM courses for classes such as AP Computer Science, Algebra 2, Chemistry, and more. We also have great webinars where students can attend and get insights on different careers and hear people speak of their experience from fields such as computer graphics, artificial intelligence, stats, and more. We also have an amazing student Discord server where one can get help for their classes and also make new friends. All the important information such as codes to the Google Classroom and the links to the Discord server will be in the description below. The best part is, is that this is all provided for free. So we can't wait to see you there. So now let's get back into the video. Alright, so let's get started. Okay, so a few quick things I wanted to go over was that simple basic things like what the field setup looks like and all of that. So you're playing by a 12 foot by 12 foot field. And then you have 72 rings and seven mobile goals on the VRC field. Each alliance side will also have two mobile goals for the designated sides. And then each one will also have platforms for their each sides, along with three neutral goals in the middle. So these are some basic quick things you guys should know about. The next thing I wanted to talk about was, you know, just all of these and the setup i think this is pretty self-explanatory because you have multiple ways to score points regardless of how well your robot is so that's one thing to keep in mind and some quick other quick things is that you have 15 second autonomous period and you also have a one minute and 45 second driver control so those are some self-explanatory things that we all should know by this point so the autonomous there's not a lot for the autonomous for me to mention because most of the rules or the scoring rules apply to the autonomous as it does in the driver control period so you get 20 points for winning the autonomous round and then you uh, as i mentioned before the driver control rules apply to the auton so we're going to go take a look at that now so let's take a look at the driver control so this is just like a you know quick overview of all the things i'm going to be talking about in ways and which ways you guys can score points and we'll also be talking about you know what two things we're going to be focusing on to get the max points so first thing is the mobile goal that is elevated so your mobile goal must be balanced you can either have a robot or you can have the mobile goals balanced on this you know uh, platform but it should be it must be parallel to the ground and it must be balanced so in that way if you have the mobile goal balanced on these this platform you get 40 points um each robot that is elevated so for example if a robot is balanced on this platform then you get 30 points and you must have or 30 points per robot and you mu it must be balanced and as i mentioned before it must be parallel to ground so i put an image of what it's not so this is not um this is not parallel to the ground so it doesn't score so the next thing i wanted to talk about was the mobile score uh, or the mobile goals scored on each alliance side. So if you guys have it by the end of the game, you guys have your mobile goals on your designated sides. You guys can it can have your rings, and then you guys can score twenty points right there. And then you guys also have the rings on the neutral goals, which if you score in the high goal or in the high branch, you get ten points. You get three points for the middle branch and any other branches on the mobile goals for either the red or the blues. And then you also have, you know, the base point, which you get one. So as I mentioned before, 
each ring scored on any other branch, you get three points. So if you have if you make it through here, you get three points. Any base gets one point. And then they have a something they have something different kind of apart from everything else is that one ring scored on each alliance mobile goal and is cleared uh is cleared line in autonomous you get one win point so that's a good news type of thing so that's one thing to keep an eye for so most points in this game comes from the platforms and the goals so that's why we want to really focus and hone in on the things such as the platforms and the goals so even if your robot you know is not you know very professional you guys can still have a working wheel and maybe even an arm attached you don't even need to have like an intake system for the rings you can just have a normal claw bot and you can work through the goals and have the goals balanced on the platforms which gives you solid 40 points right there so that's one of the best ways to you know strategize you know even if you don't have you know the best bot out there you still can create the best you can still utilize your opportunity and create the basic things for a better output so that's one thing to focus on. So even if you don't have time, you don't have time to program and whatnot, you can still focus on a claw bot, which is not, it doesn't take a while to program that, neither does it take a long time to build it. So you, if you focus on that and just have a good drivetrain or a wheel system, you got basically 40 points just by placing the goals on the platform. And the platform, if you can even, you know, balance your robot on the platforms, and with the goal with, with your robot, then you're perfectly, you get like solid 70 points right there. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. So yeah. So if you guys like this video, make sure to like and then subscribe to this channel. And make sure to share it with your friends who are, or your teammates who are on your robotics team. And yeah, and your coaches. So, and the other thing I wanted to talk about is make sure to join those free courses linked in the description below by Panda Learning. And I know this is verified because I'm one of the co-founders and it's a great way to learn more about new things and new subjects as well as explore new career options if you guys still aren't sure what to you know pursue in college. So that's a good way to learn more about STEM classes. And so yeah, so make sure to subscribe and go join the free courses. Links will be in the description below. But yeah, so until then, see you guys next time.